There's a lot you can do on the Second Life Island, which was designed for K-12 as well as graduate classes. For instance, in the Street Tale building, you can get capes and crowns, and you can also get a free treasure box. Meet friends or teammates at the A-frame for some relaxing moments. See the science projects of past colleagues if you go to the pod area. And we will be meeting here to share, caucus, and hear from speakers. And lots of tutorials have been embedded into the island themselves. For instance, if you come into the Svenston area, you can follow optional tutorials that will teach you how to do some basic building. Anything that you make will stay here for three hours. Read the tutorials to see how to keep things for longer. And a treasure hunt has been embedded into the island if you look for the green beams. But, but for some, some final fun, go into the fenced in area. You have to start here. Go into your inventory, pull out the cart, onto the ground, and right click it and move in to ride it. Feel free to drive all over the island. Uh, you'll see why kids do better in this environment than adults do. You can go right through the fence. It's actually a fake fence. And you can crash the carts into anything. They disappear after about 30 seconds. The Surf Island is a private island so that both students and teachers can come here and work safely. Play is optional, but I would encourage you to do it. You'll learn best that way, and it might create some bonds with K-12 students in the future. 